Now we are left with 30 minutes to cross into the new year. So the theme for the coming year is 2020. I don't know why you are shouting so much, but it's a year to be, listen, it's a year to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. All right. A year to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Jesus said, Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So this coming year, I'm declaring it to be a year of being wise as serpents and harmless as doves. All right. So let me just share with you a little about this and then we are going to pray and there's a lot to pray about if this is the theme for our year. A year to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Amen. Now, in Isaiah chapter 59, let's first talk about being harmless as doves. Harm is injury to hurt something or somebody. Now, in 2021, there are three places that you will not be harmful to any longer. Number one, harmful to yourself. Harmful to yourself. And then number two, you'll not be harmful to somebody else. Amen. And number three, you'll not be harmful to the kingdom of God or to the church in any way. You are going to become harmless as doves. Jesus didn't only say be wise as serpents. He said be wise as serpents and harmless as that. Harmless. No harm. All right? Now, when you look at the madman of Gadara, you notice that the madman of Gadara was cutting himself with stones in Mark chapter 5 and also Luke 8. He was cutting himself with stones and crying. So, one of the greatest sources of harm, do you understand, is harm to yourself. Are you with me? Harm to yourself. The Bible says, and always, day and night, he was in the wilderness and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with not cutting somebody. He was cutting himself with stones. So, you see that um, there is a condition in which you have yourself harming yourself, doing things that destroy you doesn't even destroy anybody. But you are the one who is losing out on the big distraction that is coming in your life. 
Because what you are doing is harmful to you. You cry because of it. You weep because of it. And it destroys you. And yet you continue to do it. Proverbs 14 verse 1 says, Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish woman plucketh it down with her hands. So a fool plucks down her own house and pulls down her house over her head. I didn't write the Bible. I didn't write the Bible. But a foolish woman plucketh down her house with her hands. She brings it down. She destroys her life. So harm to yourself is something that happens so much where you see that you are like a fool or like the madman that the thing you are doing is harmful and destructive and yet you are persisting. But you see, you are crossing into 2021 without that harmful behavior in your life. Yes. Anything that is harmful to you, you are putting it down. If you develop homosexual tendencies, it will be harmful to you. If you develop fornicational tendencies, it will be harmful to you. If you develop pornographic tendencies, it will be harmful to you. If you develop adulterous tendencies, it will be harmful to you. If you, you are unfaithful, it will be harmful to you. If you develop ability to tell lies, it will be harmful to you. If you are, especially in my world, because I curse every liar in my life. Because I don't know when people are telling the truth. I pray and I lift. I say, let any deceiver in my life be cursed from heaven above. Yes. So it will not be good to lie to me or deceive me. Because my curse is with you. And also traitors. I curse all traitors and treacherous people in my life. Yes. My curse should be with them. Father, thank you. This is my only defense. Yes, it's nothing personal. It has, not, it has nothing to do with you if you are not in this group. Yes. Yes. It, it cannot help you. It cannot. It's, it's distracting because I, I don't even have to curse you. The curses are in the Bible. There are curses for thieves. There are curses for liars. There are curses for traitors. Jesus said it would have been better for Judas that he was not born. So all types of behavior like that cannot help you. And even in films, one of the things about films is that films depict a lot of real life because the imagination will not even get there. Yes. It will not get there. I saw a film where a man betrayed his master badly. And when his master was in prison, he paid the people to keep him in prison. And that is his right hand man whom he had, he had left out. But eventually he came out. When he came out, they were going to kill him. He said, no, I need to kill him myself. Yes. And he bent him alive. Oh, yes. So, traitor, treachery, betrayal, it, it, in, it, it plays out. It plays out. It's self-harm. In the end, it will harm you. So, what I'm saying is that 2021 is your year of being wise as serpents and harmless. So, whatever you have done to your life in 2020 or whenever, that is harmful, including telling lies. Once you are discovered to be lying, you will never be trusted again. You know, uh, Mike Pedro said 70 years, he has never found a liar to change. 
Yes. You see, when people make such statements, it makes it difficult for you to trust a liar. Once you tell one lie, you are found to tell a lie. Yes. The other day, somebody came to me with some sweet words. You know, but you see, I had found him out to be telling me a lie some weeks before. And I was saying, oh, I never thought this man would lie to me. I never thought so. If you had given me 10,000 CDs to bet, I would say, no, no, not him. But he was lying. I was surprised. But it changed, it changed my perception of the person. So I'm saying that there are things that harm you. And in 2021, all harmful practices of your life Eh? Yes. Are over. Amen. And are not following you into 2021. Amen. Isaiah 59, verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save, neither is his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Hmm? But what? But your iniquities. You see, iniquity has to do with a trend. Iniquity is, it, it stands for the word perversion or twisting. So you see that you've be, you are oriented towards something. That's how you flow. Do you see? Like you are always op- in opposition. Always in rebellion. Mm. Always thinking something opposite. Wow. Always criticizing. Always lying. Always fornicating. You can't relate with anybody of the opposite sex normally. You can't. It's a tendency. It's twisted. Every relationship means something. If we see you talking, it means something. So that is a tendency. Your iniquities have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you and he will not hear. How does that help you? I'm asking you, how does it help you when God doesn't answer your prayers again? How does it help you when God doesn't listen to you? Is it not harmful to you? Is it not harmful to you? So, this year is a year of being harmless as doves. First of all, put aside all harmful practices and anything that harms somebody else also. Yeah. Because you must also know what harm you are doing to other people. Pastors who abuse people. You are cursed and you are warned. The curse will di- discover you. It will find you. Maratata pakata. Visit them, Lord, with judgments. Visit them with judgments. Let judgments knock on their doors. I am telling you that 2020 is a year of being harmless as doves, little girls. All your life, you see, the Bible says the adulterous woman, she, she eateth and she wipes her lips and she says, I've done no harm. Like, I haven't hurt anybody. Remember, you've committed adultery. She eateth and she wipes her lips and she says, I have done no harm. But you've harmed somebody. You've harmed somebody. Thieves! Your days are numbered. You'll be caught in the coming year. You'll be caught and either you die or you almost die from stealing. I prophesy. It's not a curse. It's a prophecy. (laughs) (laughs) 
harmless as doves. Whatever is harmful in your life, put it aside. Gossiping, talking, useless talking, wasting of time, useless socializing, watching of films for years and hours and days. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Social media. The the phone came to help and has become harmful. How many will agree that your phone has been harmful to you? Every hand is going up here. Uh, Every of my bishops, when I check their phone, I see those online. You see, it's online. Last scene, and you see the the time, last scene. Just a few seconds ago, he was last seen. They are all unspiritual bishops. I, I I don't want to swear, I know. And they are living in sin, many of them. Yes, I know what I'm saying. Last sin. Always on the phone. Even at dawn. Every of my pastors. You see them with holy faces. Shelley. You know something? Whatever is harmful for your life, this, we are leaving it. And if it has decided to follow you like the Egyptians, eh, it's going to drown in the Red Sea. In Jesus' name. Yes. When you see somebody addicted to pornography, you see that the person is sick and they feel sick. Yes, and you see that it has harmed your ability to be normal. So, watch out for every harmful practice. Harmful to the church. There are people who have made themselves those that can judge the church, judge pastors, Say blasphemous things. This year, somebody has called me Satan. Yes. I give them to God. Yes. I give them to the Lord. He will visit them himself. Yes. Anyone who thinks he can spoil the church, destroy the church, I've heard people say they are coming to bring down the church. They are going to do that. I said, look at it. You, you just even ask whether they don't read history. Obviously, they don't read. They are just on their phone all the time. <laughs> Every person who behaves like Korah, are you getting with me? Perishes. He says, I will rise up. You, you, Moses, you make yourself too holy. Are you the only one who is holy? So you got to watch out. Watch out. Because anyone who takes up a campaign to destroy the church. Now, I thank God for the Catholic Church because it's a good example. Not easy to destroy, eh? Hey! Catholic, our Catholic brothers, they have possessed the whole of South America. It's not easy to be in any other church apart from Catholic church over there. They possess the place. So those who have made themselves harmful, you want to destroy the church and fight the church. 
May the Lord himself fight you personally. Arise, O Lord, and contend against those that contend against your church. Fight them, Lord, with your own outstretched arm in the name of Jesus. Make yourself a friend of the church, all the church, not only this church. All church is a church. Be harmless as doves. Amen. Are you still out there? Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, be harmless as doves in 2021. A foolish woman plucketh down her house. Now, every form of foolishness that is represented here I curse that stupidity in Jesus' name. Now, you see, all these verses exist. You think that, oh, who is that person? I've not yet met one. I have met hundreds. Hundreds, if not, I mean, those are the number of people I've met. How many can I meet? Hundreds of this. Plucking down their relationship. And that's why sometimes people are a bit surprised when sometimes the younger brothers... These days, break, they break relationship a little faster. Because they can see the symptoms. And I encourage you to be breaking them faster because, because it's better to break a relationship than to break an engagement. And it's better to break an engagement than to break a marriage. And when you enter into the marriage, that's it. You are in. You are like a chicken in a coop. You will never go out again. So, Make sure if you want to if you want to be in that chicken coop, then choose it well. It is only when you are not married that you can break. After you are married, that's it. Whatever you got is what you got. Yes. Are you still alive? Every demonic force working in your life leading you to be harmful to yourself ends today in the name of Jesus. It ends today in the name of Jesus. It ends today in the name of Jesus. It ends today in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Now, every secret problem, secret, uh, you know, one of the powers behind problems is their secrecy. The secrecy of your problem is the power of your problem. That's why it has power over you. Because it derives its strength from the fact that it's a secret. Yes, it's hidden. And so it, 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 it multiplies because it's a secret aspect of you. All forms of wicked secrets Narata posa mayandolaba. Unarata. You see, they are in the house as rats. That's why they call them Unarata. It's coming out of you in Jesus' name. 2021 will be better. Because the harm you've done to yourself, to your life, to your body, stealing, lying. And that is why you see that when Christians are even doing politics, you can't tell whether they are Christians or not Christians. Like if they were Christians, there are certain things you expect, but it doesn't almost mean anything. Everybody claims to be a Christian and does whatever they are doing. But this 2021, your Christianity will count because you will be harmless as a dove. Stand to your feet, everybody.